What's going on, everybody? To a video, I am going to show you guys the Ice Matron. So, first we'll start with the stats. I put 118 in as a base value and strength. Put a few points into dex, 128 into vitality, and the rest of my stuff into energy because. This build is very mana reliant. So, my character's not the level, or my mercenary's not the level, but you're gonna need Andy's Vigilance with a Rao, a Faith, and a Fortitude. Now, for skills, you're gonna max out Cold Arrow. You're going to max out Freezing Arrow. And to replenish your mana, you're going to max out Strength. Er, Strafe. Four. Passive and Magic skills. One point into Critical Strike. One point into Dodge. Dodge, Avoid, Evade. One point into Pierce. To max out penetrate so you have decent attack rating now for gear ice matron your main weapon ice ice grand matron bow or if you want speed a matriarchal bow people have weird preferences you're going to need a Nightwing's Veil with a facet, but I don't have a facet, so I stuck a Rowl in it. Crescent Moon for that 15 mana stolen per hit. Chains of Honor, life stolen per hit, and the Strength and Resist. Frost Burns, you increase the mana, maximum mana by 40%. You're gonna need dual Raven Frosts. The belt, I don't have it yet, but I was gonna go Nosferatu belt. For the extra. Not in town. Life Leech. Well, life and mana stolen per hit. I. Silk Weaves for 10% more ma maximum mana. So, and on your swamp, you're gonna need a call to arms and a spirit. So, I guess now I can show you some gameplay.
Alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we will see you guys next time.